we're gonna dump our city water and replace it with fresh mount head glacial spring mount. Spring melt. What do you got there? Two five gallon buckets? Jugs? Yeah. How much does water weigh a pound? I have or a gallon? Way too much. Way too much. How much? Eight pounds a gallon? Uh, there's, I'm carrying 10 gallons, so I'm carrying 80 pounds. Woo! This is Mount Hood snow, glacial snow melt runoff. Um, yeah, why not fill it up? We do not advocate filling up at any unknown stream source. We do not advocate filling up at any unknown or unsafe stream source. Because guess what? There are unfortunate people out there <coughs> who decide to like poop too close to the stream. So if you're one of these people that poops too close to the stream, shit goes downhill, water goes downhill, people. That's sick. Please be careful. Because the big jugs don't fit all the way in to fill up, there is a little bit of a dip and pour at the end. And then a, a wonky slog back uphill. And we'll shuttle them back into Bob the bus. Again, each one of these is about five gallons, and we've got four of them, so that's 20 gallons total. Rochelle is getting her morning workout. Squats and deadlifts and walks and things like that. I don't know if we're contaminating the, the local public water source right now by pouring Portland, Oregon water source in there. Portland, Oregon does have some pretty healthy water, so I don't know if we're contaminating this stream right now. I'd like to think that we're not contaminating it too badly. It is beautiful though. It does just flow right down. Checking in with some kids now while mom's filling up water. We've got fairy house galore. Oh my goodness. Cottages. It was a beautiful night's sleep here. The sound of the stream just trickling by all evening. It was so nice and refreshing. It was the first night in a long time that there's been no sirens, no dog barks, no, no freaking race cars doing the strip downtown in Portland, drag strip racing each other. There was no sirens. There was no, there was no wailing of crazy people. There was no rolling of shopping carts up and down the road. It was a beautiful night. Just this sound. That's all there was. Overwhelming, overpowering stream.
Oh, she's getting close, ladies. Gentlemen, she's getting close. She's doing it. These and thems, she's almost there. Isses and whizzes. She, here she comes. She's about to land. Oh. Oh. Mama got some arms. That's exhausting. Yep. To crawl under the bed right now just to get in. Here. So I remembered that these don't all fit in their little cubby space if they're completely full and I know I filled them up to the air valve but I bet if we squeeze it yeah, there's a little too much water in there. So, I'm gonna squeeze it with my legs. Oh, that feels so good. Otherwise, the three of them that fit in the space, uh, they're too fat. They swell up too much. So, we just gotta squirt a little bit off the top. That should be good. So the struggle starts with dirt. the dirt. Uh, oh, this one can stay out. Yep. Okay, now we're ready to actually do it. Everything in this build out is so precision fit because of space. Uh, amount that we have in here and the number of people so everything if it doesn't fit the exact same the exact way that it was intended it really almost doesn't it's pretty so, crazy so like, the jugs cannot go in with the high end facing the front of the bus otherwise the seat won't be able to tip back when yeah. the girls are asleep yeah. So they have to turn around this way. And then holding those three in place is... Our cooler. It's a 55 quart Canyon cooler. And I gotta tell you, I like it way better. You see this, folks? See this? Look at this. This, this is a straight line. This is a corner. There is no silly, awkward, yeti, foolish bump. I would never want a Yeti cooler. It would take up twice as much space and offer me half as much usage. So, go with Canyon. It's where it's at. It fits in really nice. Doesn't it works great. Space, but, oh. my leg is in the way. great about this water source we know everything that is uphill from here so everything that's going to be washing down into it we know the risks we do know about giardia um, but we do have filters in our van if we need it and we've decided to take an educated risk and get some clean glacial melt-off water live <laughs> we're a simple life adventure Please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.